Bulldogs have long been used as a metaphor for aggression, power, roughness, and domination in the media. They frequently frighten many people, especially kids, just because of their somewhat unsettling appearance. Not many people adopted them as a result. How to train a bulldog has been a concern for many up to this point. Before we walk right into how to train a bulldog, let us take a look at the breed. The scary bulldog is actually very friendly despite looking gruff. Fighting Mastiffs, which were introduced to Britain by Roman invaders and conquerors, were their ancestors. They barely resemble their forefathers today, and their conduct has radically changed. These dogs are among the nicest of all breeds today, despite their pasts as aggressive and rugged animals. Originally known as Alonts, they were once used by butchers to transport livestock to slaughterhouses. They weren't given the name Bulldogs in the official sense until the year 1500. These Bulldogs were the ideal competitors for the event because of their size and short legs, which were popularized much later. When you see a traditional English Bulldog, you know it. He has the typical huge bones, a silly personality, and a heart of gold. Although Bulldogs were initially bred as fighting dogs and eventually became a universal representation of toughness and tenacity, they have since developed into peaceful, family-oriented canines who prefer to lounge on their beds and see the world go by. This attractive breed is also frequently seen on television, guarding the sidelines at college basketball or football games, or in films, memorably attempting to prevent an inflated Aunt Marge from floating away. Given that the Bulldog is the fifth most popular breed in America, it's no surprise to see them everywhere. Appearance when someone says Bulldog, English Bulldogs, sometimes referred to as British Bulldogs, are likely the first thing that springs to mind. They are medium-sized dogs weighing 40 to 50 pounds with strong, short limbs and a broad, blocky torso. Both the boys and the girls are big. Their enormous underbite is a defining characteristic, and the puppies occasionally hang a fang. Additionally, they are distinguished by their wrinkly face, nose rope, and overhanging skin. English Bulldogs were advantageous in dogfighting because of their large shoulders and low sitting position. Red, white, fawn, and fallow are the four colors specified by the American Kennel Club in its breed standard. They could include more ticking or black masks in addition to any combination of these. Always have eyes that are either dark brown or black. An English Bulldog is distinct from other Bulldogs and cannot be mistaken for them. The American Bulldog is a slimmer, longer-legged working dog that can protect, hunt, or labor on a farm. It is an athletic breed. The smaller French Bulldog has long bat-like ears. The least common Bulldog is the Old English Bulldog, a larger, more muscular cross between English Bulldogs, Pit Bull Terriers, American Bulldogs, and Bull Mastiffs. Personality Contrary to appearances, a bulldog has a friendlier and sillier disposition. Despite their menacing appearance, bulldogs are actually quite kid and family friendly. According to Sarah Hodgson, author, trainer, and applied behaviorist with the International Association of Animal Behavior Consultants, as far as disposition, they are incredibly lovely if socialized early, otherwise, they will become territorial and uncontrollable with other dogs and animals. Even though they are typically friendly toward others, if they are not positively socialized to the normal ups and downs of daily life, they may also turn hostile toward strangers. Bulldog puppies need to interact with children, adults, and other animals frequently in order to develop their distinctively laid-back disposition. The better off they will be, the more successful interactions they have with novel circumstances. Bulldog aggression is uncommon. He's practically dopey, in fact. He is friendly and sincere, even though he sometimes has trouble understanding what you're saying. Living Standards Bulldogs are a laid-back breed that loves being inside. They can thrive as apartment inhabitants because of their low level of energy. They don't need a large yard to run around in because after 10 minutes of playing, they'll need to take a nap. The Bulldog adores kids and is willing to put up with all the commotion, pulling, and the noise they cause. If they are bothered, they won't ever act angry. Instead, they will simply leave. This breed doesn't bark a lot, but they make excellent watchdogs and can scare someone away just by looking at them. They are also renowned for having the courage and would always stand up for their loved ones. 
Bulldogs prefer a slow existence spent curled up on the sofa or cradled in your lap. They are a brachiocephalic breed, which means that they have flat faces and wide skulls, which can make exercise challenging. They struggle to swim because of their large heads and chests, and they should be regularly supervised around water to prevent drowning. The Bulldog is an all-around calm and loving dog that you will enjoy playing with and cuddling within your home. With a lot of patience on your part, even if they could be a little stubborn and challenging to train, it can still work out. Bulldog training, all you need to know. Bulldogs typically show people love and friendliness by giving them lots of kisses and attention. They can be aggressive against cats and other dogs if they haven't had great contact with them in the past. As soon as your bulldog puppy moves into your home, start exposing him to good interactions with different people and animals. In order to reinforce the interaction as positive and enjoyable, give your dog praise both during and after. Your bulldog puppy can benefit from socializing opportunities by enrolling in obedience classes. Obedience Training Teach your bulldog the fundamentals of obedience, including sit, stay, and down. To keep your dog's interest, keep training sessions brief, 5 to 10 minutes per day. Treat and verbal praise should be given to the dog after it exhibits the desired behavior. The e-bulldog responds well to positive training techniques and is motivated by food. Negative training techniques can only result in a recalcitrant bulldog who has no desire to learn from you. Give the verbal order sit while holding a treat just above the puppy's head and just out of reach to train your bulldog puppy to sit. Give the dog a treat and some praise as soon as it sits. With enough practice, the dog will pick up on the connection between the command and the activity and the reward. By increasing the interval between the command stay and the administration of a treat and praise, you can gradually transform the command sit into the command stay. Holding a treat in your hand, Move it to the floor and away from the puppy as you say the command will help you teach your bulldog to down from the sit position. Immediately after the dog saunters down to pursue the treat. Safety training. The bulldog needs to learn the directions leave it and drop it since they can be possessive with their food and it can be challenging to get something harmful or stolen from the table out of their mouths. The order leave it can also end aggressiveness toward another dog before a fight breaks out. Start by giving your bulldog a favorite toy to practice dropping things. Order drop it or another command after your dog has taken the toy and is holding it, and then present the puppy with a treat. Offer your dog a treat and give him praise as soon as he drops the toy. Put your bulldog on a leash and command him to sit to teach him the command leave it. Set the dog's preferred toy in front of him. Use the leash to stop the dog from grabbing the toy and say leave it. Give your dog a treat when they sit still without attempting to reach the toy. Crate training. Provide a crate for your bulldog to use as a secure den. Make the crate as comfy and inviting as you can by filling it with toys and a soft blanket. To make your bulldog feel safe while eating, you can feed him inside the crate. The tendency of bulldogs to hoard food. In addition to giving your dog a sense of security while eating and preventing youngsters and other family members from bothering the possessive dog during the meal, feeding your dog in the crate also makes the crate an attractive place to be. Your bulldog should be able to stand, sit up, and lie down comfortably inside the box. The dog should have enough space to spread out, but not too much that it will be tempted to urinate inside the crate. Dogs instinctively prefer to keep the area around them clean. This makes a dog crate a practical tool for helping your bulldog puppy become housebroken. Use a vocal command like crate to teach your bulldog to enter the crate when called. Treats should be used to entice the dog into the crate, and while inside, the dog should be rewarded. Due to the fact that bulldogs are known snorers, you might wish to keep your dog in the crate and away from your bed. Potty training. Your bulldog must be consistently trained to go indoors. Every two to three hours, take your dog outdoors to go potty. This is especially important after meals and when the puppy wakes up from a nap. To make bathroom breaks comfortable for your dog, choose a location that is shielded from the weather. Select a verb, such as potty. Your dog will learn the purpose of going outside if you verbally reward him for doing so and take him inside as soon as he's finished. 
Keep an eye on the puppy or confine him in between potty breaks to avoid accidents. When you notice any indications of need, take the puppy outside right away. With age and improved elimination control, you'll be able to extend the intervals between toilet breaks. Bulldogs can go four to five hours without having to go outside by the time they are six months old. Bulldogs can be trained to use a big doggy litter box indoors because they are calm dogs who frequently prefer to stay inside. Training Cautions Bulldogs, like all dog breeds with short faces, cannot endure heat and humidity well. If they are overworked outdoors in such conditions, they are susceptible to breathing issues and heat stroke. They cannot exercise in hot or cold conditions because of their damaged breathing passages, which can cause issues like panting and snoring. The ideal training location for your bulldog is an indoor space with climate control. To avoid phlegm development from heavy panting, give your dog lots of fresh water during training. Bulldogs are less active than other breeds, which can be taught agility or other similarly demanding exercises. Even at a younger age, they frequently experience diseases like hip dysplasia and arthritis, which makes such training even more challenging for them. If your bulldog is having trouble breathing, talk to your veterinarian to find out if surgery might be able to assist. A bulldog should never be put in a choke collar. According to the American College of Veterinary Surgeons, these dogs have tiny trachea that can be damaged by such apparatus. For this breed, a harness is a preferable alternative. Compared to other breeds, bulldogs are more prone to deafness. Ask your vet to assess the dog's hearing if you observe that it doesn't react to vocal orders. Bulldogs that are deaf can be trained with hand gestures rather than vocal commands by rewarding good behavior with food. Good luck with training your bulldog.